Time for more Argonaut Weekly here at GoArgos.com. Rob Walden along with sophomore pitcher Victoria Harvey of the UWF softball team. Very busy week for softball this past week. They participated in the GSC crossover up in Decatur, Alabama. Played seven games in four days. Came home with a record of four and three. So Victoria, a winning record for you guys at the crossover. Did lose the last two games on Sunday. Two zip to Arkansas Monticello. Four zip to Henderson State. So there's some negative in there, but also some positive as well. Four victories, and, and I know you guys have to feel good about those at the completion of, of a very tough week. Yeah, Decatur is always, you know, one of our toughest tournaments because it's so long. And, um, you know, we really just try to do our best, and we just fell short a little bit. It's Arkansas Monticello has always been a good team. Um, Henderson, we've always really had a tough rivalry with them, and we just seem to fall short with them this weekend. Individually, you've pitched very well lately. Had an ERA under two at the crossover, won two of those four games for West Florida. It seems like you've really hit a groove over the last month of the season after struggling a little bit in the first months. What's, what's the difference for you personally kind of stepping in and filling that role of, of the starting pitching ace for this team over the last few weeks? Um, well, I've been, you know, um, sick, you know, a lot this year. And um, I just feel like, you know, it, you know, I needed to step up and, I guess I kind of have. Absolutely, uh, and now leading the team in ERA. Now you guys will play two more road doubleheaders this week. You take on West Alabama on Saturday and North Alabama on Sunday. You guys have yet to win a true road game this season as you head into two very big doubleheaders that have a lot to do with the how the conference is going to shake out at the end of the season. What's it going to take for you guys to, to break over that threshold and get through and win hopefully two and maybe three or four road games this weekend? You know, I think it's going to take a combined effort, you know, from all of us. You know, our defense has got to be on top. You know, our hitting also has to be on top because that's, you know, that's how you score runs. And so if we don't, you know, pick that up, then, we, you know, we'll have a tough time with it. But I think, you know, we've, you know, we've had freshmen step up, sure. everyone step up, and I think we can do it. You guys came into the season picked third in the GSC East by a pretty wide margin. Now find yourselves in kind of a dogfight for one of those final two spots in the Eastern Division half of the GSC tournament. Is there any kind of pressure going in, especially to the stretch run of the regular season? You guys are probably going to have to get a winning record over the last three weeks to get into the, the conference tournament. You guys feel any pressure involved with that? I think there's a little bit of pressure, but you know we've always been good at coming back from being on the bottom. and I thinking it won't be that big of a deal for us to do it. And hopefully it won't be a huge deal this weekend. Two more big road doubleheaders for the UWF softball team. They'll take on West Alabama Sunday beginning at 1 Central and then North Alabama, excuse me, West Alabama Saturday beginning at 1 Central and then North Alabama on Sunday beginning at high noon. You can listen to all four games this weekend live right here at GoArgos.com.